Hello all and welcome to today's Bible portion. Today's Bible portion is going to be Genesis chapter 21 and 22. And Adonai visited Sarah as he had said, and Adonai did unto Sarah as he had spoken, for Sarah conceived, and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the time set of which Adonai had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old as Adonai had commanded him. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, Adonai hath made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. And she said, Who will have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And a child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast in the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, which she had borne unto Abraham mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the, very, and the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And Adonai said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, and because of thy bondwoman. And all that Sarah hath said unto thee, hearken unto her voice. For in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, and put it on her shoulder, and a child, and sent her away. And she departed, and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the waters, and the water was spent in the bottle, and she cast the child under one of the shrubs, and she went and sat down again, over against him, a good way off, as it were a boat, as it were a bowshot. For she said, "Let me not see the death of the child." And she sat over against him, and lift up her voice and wept. And Adonai heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of Adonai called to, called to Hagar out of heaven. And said unto her, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, Adonai hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thy hand. For I will make him a great nation. And Adonai opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad a drink. And Adonai was with the lad. And he grew, and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. And his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt, and it came to pass at that time that Abimelech and Pickle, the chief captain of his hosts, spake unto Abraham, saying, Adonai is with thee, and all that thou doest. Now therefore swear unto me here, and by Adonai, that thou wilt not steal, sorry, that, that thou wilt not deal falsely with me nor with my son, nor with my son's son, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me, and to the land wherein thou hast sojourned. And Abraham said, I swear, I will swear. And Abraham repro reproved Abimelech because of the well of water which Abimelech's servants had violently taken away. And Abimelech said, I will not I what not who hath done this thing, neither didst thou tell me, neither yet hurt neither yet heard of it but today. And Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Abimelech, and both of them made a covenant. And Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves, and Abimelech said unto Abraham, what mean these seven ewe lambs which thou hast set by themselves? And he said, For these seven ewe lambs that shalt thou take of my hand, that they may be a witness unto me that I have digged this well. 
Wherefore he called that place Beersheba, because there they swear both of them. Thus they made a covenant at Beersheba. Then Abimelech rose up in Pichal, the chief captain of his hosts, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. And Abraham planted a grove in Beersheba and called there on the name of Adonai, the everlasting Adonai. And Abraham sojourned in the Philistines' land many days. <laughs> All right, enough of that silliness. <laughs> My little Odie. That was Odie, everybody. Yeah. Genesis chapter 22. And it came to pass after these things that Adonai did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and give thee to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass, and took two of his young... <laughs> You're goofy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Enough of that. <sighs> okay. And took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up, and went unto the place which Adonai had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes, and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here. With the ass, and I will, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the word, took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son Adonai will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them, together. And they came to the place which Adonai had told him of, and Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in the order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of Adonai called on to him out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. And, and he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him, for now I know that thou fearest Adonai, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and to and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in, in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram, and offered him up for a burnt offering in the, in, in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Reich. Jireh. As it, said to, as it is said to this day, the mount of Adonai it shall be seen. And the angel of Adonai called unto Abraham out of he heaven the second time, and said, By myself have I sworn, said Adonai, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. And so Abraham returned unto his young men, and they arose and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Milcah, she hath also borne children unto thy brother Nahor, who is his firstborn, and Buz his brother, and Kimuel 
Kim Yuel, the father of Aram, in Chisid, in Hezo, in Pildesh, in Jilaf, in Bethuel. In Bethuel begat Rebecca. These eight Milka did bear to Nahor Abraham's brother, and his concubine whose name was Ruma. She bare also Teba, Geham, and the, the Hash, and Mecha. Well, that is today's read. Sorry about the laughing over the ass. Uh, until next time, I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed the halftime show with Odie. Yeah. Alright, toodles.